Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. I am Deb Chanel and you are part of Deb Chanel's 40s World. And it's always a family affair over here. Guys, it's always a family affair. I invite you, you are my co-host and I am the content creator, correspondent, owner and CEO over on this platform on YouTube, okay? Deb Chanel's 40s World. Get into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. But you know I like it when you like my videos. That means they're being subjected to an algorithm that YouTube uh, holds. And they, when you like a video for so many times, they put it in a bigger platform of people that'll get a chance to watch your video. So please do that for me. Like, like, like my videos. And definitely share, share, share. <clears throat> because that helps me also it gets me to people that probably wouldn't have known to come over but with your sharing on your social media platforms or whatever it gets me further out there for other people to congregate and come over and be family over here on the Chanel's 40s world and of course you know if I if you like my commentary if you don't like my commentary it is what it is maybe you will like something that I do put out at a later date but I can't force you to um subscribe to my channel but i'm asking you pleading with you if you like me if you like my content please don't hesitate go on and hit that subscribe button okay i ain't saying you gotta come to the house every day <clears throat> you know just because you get my notifications don't mean you have to come but if you would like to come i'm always here always dropping out a video every day they are pre-recorded unless i have a story that i just got to get out there then i would come on and publish it that particular day but let's go on and get into this particular story and it's really not a story out there it's almost like content creators are sharing information with other content creators okay if you're a vlogger or if you are a YouTube content creator, then it's usable. And all of it is allegedly, okay? Don't take it as the gospel truth, all right? I'm putting out information on there. And if I say it's true, it's, and then I'll give you the source of citing saying it's true. Not coming from me. I'm just the person that sit out there and deliver you the sensation, sensational, salacious type uh entertainment gossip news okay i'm not the one going out there uh, i wouldn't call it stalking but i'll call it more so getting in folks business where i ain't really need to be but i'm getting paid to do it you know like watching your every move writing down where you come and go who you're with you know all that kind of stuff i ain't with that i if, if it's all if you got it where i can see it, i'll look at it i'll do my commentary on it then i'm moving on okay but i'm not finna go out there and be a personal investigator and watch your every move and, and you know take what you're doing with who you're doing with how you doing no i'm not gonna do all that okay i leave that for the bigger bloggers and the ones that want to make this like a career a chosen career you know what i'm saying i'm not in that uh t that type of thing now, if you want to give me a talk show <laughs> please give it to me all day long okay but i'm not finna go do the lead work and pretty much try to take out the trash and get into somebody's trash to see what they eating just because they're a so-called celebrity okay not not finna do all that but let's get on into the story that dj uh richie sky he's a youtube content creator he's in the entertainment field as well he works with bravo and uh, he's a cast member on show, some show that Bravo Entertainment put out, True Entertainment, uh, called Strip. It's a little sitcom show, a reality show, where they take everything from you, meaning literally your clothes. You can be up there ass butt naked, and that's fine. They bleep out the, you know, issues like the titties and the penises and the vagina. They bleep those out or cast them out where you really can't see it. But it's almost like being on a castaway type of island like Gilligan's Island, but you have clothes. But on this particular uh, sitcom show called Strip, you don't have no clothes. You don't have nothing. If you do something in order uh, of importance that they like, they'll give you uh, a chance to go to your little locker. They don't store, store your clothes up and it's kind of like a, a storage place you can go and retrieve one item that you think you would probably need and you it, you have to see the show because some of the things that people come back they are still go butt naked come back butt naked but have a coffee pot like who, what what but anyway that's the show he's a part of but his youtube channel is called dj richie sky so go on over there tell them Deb chanel's four days where i sent you and um 
that's pretty much it because he i was watching one of his videos today and we were kind of like uh doing some of the same reviews on different uh reality shows but like i said he has a real big strong ear down to the ground where he gets tea prior to any other vloggers may have getting the tea because he's up there he's rubbing heads he's met tony braxton and her families and probably a lot of other local celebrities here in, in atlanta georgia and probably beyond that because he used to live in los angeles or he may still live in los angeles he may have stayed here for a couple of times I, I i really just got introduced to him so i really don't know that much but i do know he do he is a youtube content creator he does uh have uh employment with bravo uh enterprises and he is on a show sitcom reality show called strip so um go over there his channel check him out but he's giving the tea on the three women that are not coming back for marital medicine okay when they get their season eight three of these people you won't be seeing allegedly he's giving out the tea of what he done heard and i'm like shoot he up there with bravo he might be telling the truth i don't know it might not be all three i'm going but it might be a couple of might be two it might be one but he's designating three women are out the door and that's none other than contessa dr jackie and buffy parcel yes honey i'm like what i could see buffy going all day every day and in a sense we should have seen Dr. Jackie leaving as well because she called herself before she chose between her two friends or any of the ladies on the show. But we're just going to stick to Simone and Dr. Evelyn. She'll leave the show. So maybe she's putting her mouth where her, uh, she's putting her words. All right, go. Put your mouth where you, put your words where your mouth is. Put your mouth where your words are. Something like that. But she's standing in her own shit saying, yeah, I'll leave because I ain't got time to be playing these games. Okay. I mean, Dr. Um, Jackie is not hurting for any money. I saw her staying on the show pretty much to just make sure everything's uh, being kosher and everything's being taken care of where it's not coming out of her personal, professional life, meaning her medical life. So she can use um, Bravo Entertainment, uh, the sitcom show she was on for season seven, uh, and pay her bills uh for her businesses or whatnot or uh, taxes that's cool because she's a very uh well-known OBGYN here in atlanta for her for her being on the show and connecting to other rich and famous people or whatnot for her services she's written you know several books i'm guessing uh, i don't really know but of two um and you know she's on this huge platform where everybody know of her and her philanthropy charity type work especially when it comes to breast cancer and awareness and she just does a whole lot of stuff in the community so she's an author she's a physician she's a spokesperson she's a motivator and the list can go on and on and on okay but uh i could see her being able to leave the show not looking bad and she wouldn't be hurting as bad okay uh for the extra income that bravo may be bringing in now uh contessa contessa however you want to look at her she's supposed to be a rich itch anyway right not to take away from uh, nene lee's but she's a well-known accountant uh, i'm pretty sure she does accounting work for several corporations out there i'm talking about huge businesses and she probably do a little mom and pop store thing going on with common regular folks um and I mean, she knows a lot of uh, people in the entertainment business, so they, of course, they gonna want their taxes done. So she ain't hiring for no money. She's self-employed. Uh, uh, she has her own business, um, trickling down from legacy uh from our family members and she's definitely keeping it in full swing and ready for the next generation to come and take part of her legacy and keep the tradition going on. Um, so. I, not necessarily she would be hurting, but she needs to really go get her personal life together with having as many kids her house and her heart can hold. And uh, just living with her husband and going through daily living. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't really see her as having a, a true um, longevity type career on Merit to Medicine. Because she just really wasn't given anything. And she was more so... Uh, playing the victim when it came to by her not having any friends and she claiming it, the reason why she don't have any friends is because she's just so out there she's just so uh wealthy 
uh, influential and some of her friends are just not up to par or they're not on that level so they're jealous of her you know that kind of ridiculous thinking you know but it may be her truth so I'm not going to knock it if she feels that way that's her truth now do the other people around her probably feel that way hell no probably not but it just is what it is that's her kind of in the fame of why she don't have so many friends because she's so up there in the, the uh, heavenly skies nobody can reach her at this time so if you need to, you know, make some friends, you probably want to come all the way down and not have that attitude when you're expressing it, Buffy. Then I'm pretty sure you will flourish with friendships in that department fairly soon. But yes, honey, that's what I heard from DJ Richard Scott. Him, this young man, handsome, isn't he? Very handsome. That's why I said go. He talks very nice as well. But, you know, he has a platform on www.richardscott.com. Dot com go see him over there um uh, let's just plugging him in because he's a nice looking tall drink of water isn't it yes he is he's easy very easy like sunday morning on the eyes yes he is okay but yeah i got that little tea from him because he got it from somebody that was credible yes that's dj uh richard sky go on over there and check out his youtube channel he has a lot of uh, videos on entertainment news uh, some that I wouldn't even dare touch because they're not in my uh, age group and some of the things that these young folks do I can't understand them you know I'm trying to still understand my 28 year old you know what I'm saying that's getting married you know well, she got engaged. We ain't got no wedding date set from, from what she's going on. She's just pretty much ready to get out of the house and, and do her thing. So I, no wedding date is to date set in stone. Only thing we know, she got engaged on Thanksgiving. And that's good enough for me. Okay? But anyway. Yeah. I said that to say something. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, yes, young people. Uh, DJ Richard. Um talks about people like Cardi B and the game and uh, younger uh, celebrities out there. Me, I focus on pretty much people my own age group or if it's somebody doing something out there that I just don't understand and they may have a family member that's in the entertainment business, I tend to get on them. You know, unless they full-fledged they out there and they just make me go, hmm, I, why are they thinking that way? Why are they doing that? Why are they pay? Then I might do a little story here and there, but I don't really go in on them because they're still learning. They're in their formative years. They don't know pretty much who they are. They know what they like in a sense, but they don't know how themselves involve around what they're trying to feel like they like, and they would see themselves in that particular situation, okay? But yes, the, the three ladies that got tossed out, or maybe they left on their own. I'm going to give that much credit to Jackie. She probably felt like... I don't have my time on the show. It's been a good run, but I have to say, I have to bid you adieu and go on with my life. So she's the only one that I can really say that uh, to walk away from the show and she'll be good financially. I pretty much feel all the ladies will be good because they definitely have professional lives prior to them getting on the show. Reality show is just more of a boost of income that they can go and do whatever they wanted to do with it or invest it in whatever they wanted to do because they've already had good lucrative professional jobs. You know what I'm saying? Honorable jobs. So, um, yeah. But y'all get in the comments, y'all think, uh, and tell me what y'all think about this story that was, is being leaked out through the YouTube community, uh, throughout the content creators, because I don't know where, uh, DJ Richard Sky got the information from, but like I said, he's in the Bravo Entertainment family, and maybe it's coming from a source within, you see what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, he stated that Dr. Jackie will be leaving. Uh, Dr. Contessa will be leaving, and none other than Buffy Parcell, she will be leaving, okay? And then that means they have to bring two more interesting people that are in the medical field, uh, whether they're going to be uh, medita merit to medicine, I meaning they're going to be doctors, or whether or not they're going to be, um, what do you call it? Uh, just regular folks like uh, Tom, what's her name, Toya and Quad, you know, that kind of status. Uh, so I really don't know, but I would uh, love for them to come with something. Don't bring us nobody like Buffy that's high on the hog and, you know, then she want to play crazy on the other 
half, you know. Give me somebody that's normal, down to earth, and then let's work with them there. But uh, nobody just seemed like they airy. And I already got a little attitude, kind of messed up attitude. But anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. Continue to definitely watch my channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so at this time. And definitely like and share my videos. And as always, you know I love for you to comment. Get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all felt about Content Matter or subject at hand that I was bringing to you all. <coughs> and let me know how you feel. Speak your mind, honey. That's why I say speak on it. Speak your mind, honey. Just, just take it out your brain. Let it come through your mouth to where I can hear it. And let's talk about it. Let's interact with one another. Okay, just as long as we're doing it positive. All right? And as in parting, I like to say, I love you. I got peace for you. And so, okay, they all go together like Don Cornelius used to say on Soul Train. I love you. Peace and soul. Good night, guys. Bye. <coughs>